Catoctin Furnace is a remarkably intact early 19th century village. So we have the Museum of the Iron Worker, where you can see artifacts made at Catoctin Furnace and then items used here. We now know that the majority of the workers were African American. And this is probably one of the few, if not the only place in the United States where you can experience uh, the story of industrial slavery and that is one of the things that makes Catoctin Furnace unique. So visiting Catoctin Furnace and particularly the Museum of the Iron Worker is a way to come face to face with history. It's a dark and difficult history but it's one that can be explored and some degree of understanding uh, and empathy can be experienced here at the museum. Monocacy National Battlefield is a microcosm of the larger American Civil War in the sense that we have many enslaved individuals on these farms here in Central Maryland while also from 1863 on we also have a recruiting center here down at Monocacy Junction. Approximately 500 African American men are going to come from Frederick County itself. These would be part of approximately 200,000 African Americans that would enlist in the Union war effort. By the end of the American Civil War, approximately a tenth of the United States Army is African American. With the deep connection to American slavery here at Monocacy National Battlefield and the farms that make up the battlefield, part of our ongoing research has been trying to establish connections with the descendant population from those who were enslaved here allowing us to not only research more into the individuals, but give light to some of the history and their stories that have been lost in time. Art Society stands for African American Research and Cultural Heritage. And what we do is want to disseminate and educate citizens, anyone, about black history here in Frederick County. I lead the walking tours fourth Saturday of each month at 11 o'clock through downtown Frederick, the historically the black community here in Frederick. And we begin and we start out on Carroll Creek. Our founder, Mr. Lee, there's a bridge here on Carroll Creek that is the, the Lee Bridge, Mr. William O. Lee Bridge, and he was a bridge in this community here in Frederick. And then we travel through um, Mullenix Park and we begin to walk down All Saints, which was the epicenter of black life after emancipation and probably up until the late 20th century. For anyone who wants to learn about the history, especially of downtown Frederick, All Saints, the black history here, please join us for our walking tour on the fourth Saturday of each month.